The 2017 World Series was the championship series of Major League Baseball's MLB 2017 season. The 113th edition of the World Series, it was played between October 24 and November 1. The series was a best-of-seven playoff between the National League champion Los Angeles Dodgers and the American League champion Houston Astros. It was sponsored by the Internet television service YouTube TV and officially known as the 2017 World Series presented by YouTube TV. The Astros defeated the Dodgers, four games to three, to win their first World Series in franchise history, also becoming the first team from Texas to do so. It was the first time since 2001 2002 when two consecutive World Series went to seven games. Both teams set a World Series record with a combined total of 25 home runs throughout the entire series, including a team record 15 home runs by the Astros, and hit a combined total of 8 home runs in Game 2 to set the single-game World Series mark. Houston outfielder George Springer was named as the World Series Most Valuable Player MVP after hitting five home runs in the series to tie a World Series record with Reggie Jackson in 1977 and Chase Utley in 2009. This was the first World Series in which home field advantage was decided by the regular season record of the two pennant winners. From 1903 to 2002, home field advantage had been determined by coin flips and by alternating between the AL and NI. From 2003 to 2016, it was determined by results from that season's All-Star Game, when it was awarded to the team from the winning league. The Dodgers earned home field advantage over the Astros. The series was played in a 2-3-2 format, with the Dodgers hosting games 1, 2, 6, and 7, and the Astros hosting games 3, 4, and 5. <laughs> Background This was the first World Series matchup, and second postseason meeting overall, between the Astros and Dodgers. Los Angeles defeated Houston in the 1981 National League Division Series in five games en route to its World Series championship that year. The teams also met in the 1980 National League West tiebreaker game. This was the first fall classic since 1970, and the eighth overall, in which both participants had 100 or more wins during the regular season. The two teams did not meet in interleague play during the regular season. Topic: Los Angeles Dodgers. The Dodgers held a 91 to 36 record through August 25th and ended the season with a 104 to 58 record. They won their fifth consecutive National League West title and home field advantage throughout the playoffs as the overall number one seed. In the postseason, the Dodgers swept the fourth-seeded Arizona Diamondbacks in the National League Division Series and then defeated the number three seed and defending World Series champion Chicago Cubs in the previous year's rematch of the National League Championship Series in five games. This was the first appearance in the Fall Classic for the Dodgers since 1988, the tenth since the franchise moved from Brooklyn to Los Angeles in 1958, and the nineteenth overall. Entering the 2017 World Series, the Dodgers' bullpen had thrown 23 consecutive scoreless innings, a postseason record for a bullpen. Additionally, by outscoring the Arizona Diamondbacks and Chicago Cubs by a combined 48–19 margin, the Dodgers entered the World Series with the third-best run differential of any pennant winner since the playoff structure was expanded in 1995. All-star shortstop Corey Seager, who was out for the entire National League Championship Series with a back injury, was included on the Dodgers World Series roster. Manager Dave Roberts became first manager of Asian Heritage ever in the World Series, as well as the fourth African American manager. Topic: Houston Astros. 
With a 101–61 regular season record, the team won its first American League West title, their first division title since 2001, and the number two seed in the AL. In the American League Division Series, they defeated the third-seeded Boston Red Sox in four games and then defeated the fourth-seeded New York Yankees in the American League Championship Series in seven games. This was their second World Series appearance and first since 2005, when they were swept in four games by the Chicago White Sox. They became the first team in history to make it to the World Series as members of both the National League and the American League. The city of Houston in August 2017 suffered record flooding from Hurricane Harvey. The team began to wear patches which had the logo of the team with the word, Strong. On the bottom of the patch, as well as promoting the hashtag Houston Strong. Manager AJ Hinch has stated in an interview that the team wasn't just playing for a title, but to help boost moral support for the city. On August 31, just seconds before the midnight deadline, the Astros traded for Detroit Tigers pitcher Justin Verlander. Following the trade, including the regular season and postseason to this point, Verlander had posted a 9–0 win-loss record with a 1.23 earned run average. He was named the ALCS MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Summary Houston won the series, 4–3. Topic: Pre-game ceremonies. Game one: The ceremonial first pitch was thrown out by members of former Dodger Jackie Robinson's family, including his widow Rachel. The game marked the 45th anniversary of Robinson's death, and the 2017 season was the 70th anniversary of his breaking of the baseball color line. Keith Williams Jr., a gospel singer, performed. The Star Spangled Banner, the national anthem. Game 2, Fernando Valenzuela threw out the ceremonial first pitch to Steve Yeager. Both were introduced by retired Dodgers broadcaster Vin Scully. Country Music's Brad Paisley performed the national anthem. Game 3, Houston Texans defensive end J.J. Watt, who had raised $37 million for Hurricane Harvey victims, threw out the first pitch. The ball was given to him by Astros Hall of Famer Craig Biggio. The national anthem was performed by Texas Air National Guard Master Sergeant Promise Harris. Game 4, Haley Dawson, a seven-year-old girl from Nevada, threw out the ceremonial first pitch using a 3D printed hand. The national anthem was performed by the Houston Police Department Quartet. Game 5, former President of the United States George W. Bush threw out the ceremonial first pitch. His father, former President George H. W. Bush handed him the ball. Justin Verlander caught the pitch. Country singer Clay Walker performed the national anthem. Game 6, Oral Hershiser and Tommy Lasorda, celebrating the Dodgers' 1988 World Series title, each threw out the ceremonial first pitch. Los Angeles Police Department LAPD officer Rosalind Curry performed the national anthem. Game 7, the LAPD quartet sang the national anthem. The first pitch was thrown out by Sandy Koufax. Rick Monday, Steve Garvey and Don Newcomb participated as well. <laughs> Game summaries Topic. Game 1 The temperature at the start of the game was 103 degrees Fahrenheit 39 degrees Celsius, which made this the hottest World Series game ever recorded. Clayton Kershaw started Game 1 for the Dodgers, while Dallas Cushell started for the Astros. Chris Taylor hit a home run for the Dodgers on Kuchel's first pitch of the game. It was the third home run to let off a game in Dodgers postseason history following Davey Lopez in 1978 World Series and Carl Crawford in 2013 NLDS. 
Alex Bregman hit a tying home run for the Astros in the fourth inning. In the sixth inning, Justin Turner hit a go-ahead two-run home run for the Dodgers. Turner tied Duke Snyder for most career runs batted in RBIs in Dodgers postseason history with 26. Kershaw struck out 11 in seven innings pitched with no walks and only three hits allowed while Kuchel allowed three runs on six hits in six and two-thirds innings. Brandon Morrow pitched a scoreless eighth and Kenley Jansen earned the save. The two-hour, 28-minute game was the shortest World Series contest since Game 4 in 1992. Game 2 The starting pitchers for Game 2 were Rich Hill for the Dodgers and Justin Verlander for the Astros. The Astros scored first when Bregman drove in Josh Reddick with a hit in the third inning. Hill struck out seven in four innings but was replaced by Kent Amida in the fifth. Jock Peterson tied the game with a home run in the bottom of the fifth inning, and the Dodgers took the lead when Corey Seager hit a two-run home run after Taylor walked in the bottom of the sixth inning. Verlander allowed two hits, both home runs, in his six innings pitched. Carlos Correa drove in the Astros' second run of the game on a single in the eighth, ending the Dodgers' bullpen streak of 28 consecutive scoreless innings in the postseason. Marwin Gonzalez hit a home run off Jansen in the ninth to tie the game. This was only Jansen's second blown save all season and snapped his streak of converting his first 12 postseason save opportunities, a major league record. The game went into extra innings. Jose Altuve and Correa hit back to back home runs off Josh Fields in the tenth inning to put the Astros in the lead. Yuli Gurriel doubled after the home run, but Fields was replaced by Tony Singrani and Gurriel was stranded. In the bottom of the inning, Yasiel Puig hit a two-run home run off of Ken Giles and Enrique Hernandez drove in Logan Forsyth, who had walked and advanced on a wild pitch, to tie the game, with the latter being the Dodgers' first run that was not driven in by a home run. In the next inning, pinch hitter Cameron Maybin singled and stole second. George Springer hit a two-run home run for the Astros off a Brandon McCarthy to retake the lead. In the bottom of the 11th inning, Charlie Culberson homered off of Chris Devinsky, who later struck out Puig to end the game. This was the first ever World Series game in which a team hit home runs in the 9th, 10th and 11th inning. The team set a new record for combined home runs in a single World Series game with eight and this was the first time in MLB history, regular season or postseason, that five home runs were hit in extra innings. The Astros won their first World Series game in franchise history as they had been swept in their previous appearance in 2005. Game 3. The starting pitchers for Game 3 were Hugh Darvish for the Dodgers and Lance McCullers Jr. for the Astros. The Astros scored four runs in the bottom of the second inning on a home run by Yuli Gurriel and RBIs by Gonzalez, Brian McCann, and Bregman. Darvish left the game after one and two-thirds innings, which was the shortest outing of his career. The Dodgers scored one run in the top of the third inning as Seager grounded into a double play after McCullers loaded the bases with three consecutive walks. The Astros added another run in the fifth on an RBI single by Evan Gattis and the Dodgers added two in the sixth on an RBI ground out by Puig and a wild pitch. McCullers wound up pitching five one-third innings and allowed three runs on four hits. Brad Peacock replaced McCullers, completing the final three and two-thirds innings with no hits allowed and four strikeouts to earn his first major league save. It was the longest hitless World Series relief outing since Ron Taylor's four innings in Game 4 of the 1964 series, and tied Ken Clay for the longest hitless postseason save, first accomplished in the 1978 ALCS. Gurriel made a racially insensitive gesture in the dugout after his home run. He stretched the sides of his eyes and mouthing the Spanish word chinito, which translates to, little Chinese boy, 
Darvish is from Japan. Gurriel apologized, and said that anyone from Asia is called a Chino in Cuba, although he acknowledged knowing that the term was offensive in Japan from having played there. As a result, Rob Manfred, the commissioner of baseball, suspended Gurriel for the first five games of the 2018 MLB season without pay, but allowed him to continue playing in the World Series. Game 4 The starting pitchers for Game 4 were Alex Wood for the Dodgers and Charlie Morton for the Astros. Springer homered off Wood in the bottom of the sixth for the first run of the ball game. It was the only hit Wood allowed in five and two-thirds innings pitched in the game. Forsyth drove in Cody Bellinger to tie the game in the top of the seventh. Morton struck out seven and only allowed three hits and one run in six one-third innings. Bellinger then drove in the go-ahead run with a double in the top of the ninth off of Giles and the Dodgers added four more runs on a sacrifice fly by Austin Barnes and a three-run homer by Peterson. Bregman hit a home run off of Jansen in the bottom of the ninth inning, but the Dodgers won the game to even up the series. The Astros had two hits in the game, both were home runs. This was the first game in World Series history where both starting pitchers allowed four or fewer base runners. After Game 4, both teams' pitching coaches, Rick Honeycutt for the Dodgers and Brent Strom for the Astros, commented on how the baseball being used for the World Series is slicker than the baseball used during the regular season. Pitchers on both teams noted that this difference has made it more difficult for them to throw their sliders. Topic. Game 5 Kershaw and Kuchel started Game 5, in a rematch of the opening game of the series. Forsyth singled in two runs off of Kuchel in the first inning to put the Dodgers up early. A third run scored on a throwing error by Gurriel. Barnes singled in the fourth to score Forsyth. Kuchel pitched three and two-thirds innings for the Astros, allowing five hits and four runs three earned. The Astros scored their first run with an RBI double by Correa in the bottom of the fourth inning, followed by a three-run home run by Gurriel to tie the game. Bellinger hit a three-run home run off of Colin McHugh in the top of the fifth to put the Dodgers back on top only for Altuve to hit his own three-run home run in the bottom of the inning off meter to tie it back up. Kershaw pitched four two-thirds innings and allowed six runs on four hits and three walks. A triple by Bellinger on a line drive that Springer missed on a dive in the seventh inning off of Peacock scored Hernandez from first base. In the bottom of the seventh inning, Springer hit a home run off the first pitch he saw off of Morrow, who was pitching for the third consecutive day, to tie the game. Bregman scored on a double by Altuve to put the Astros ahead for the first time in the game, and then Correa hit a two-run home run to extend the lead. Seager doubled in a run in the top of the eighth inning, but McCann hit a home run in the bottom of the inning. That was the 21st home run of the series, tying the record set in the 2002 World Series. Puig broke the record with a two-run home run in the top of the ninth inning. Down to their last strike, Chris Taylor drove in Barnes to tie the game with a single. In the tenth inning, McCann was hit by a pitch to put him on base with two outs. Subsequently, Springer walked on five pitches to move McCann to second base. McCann was then replaced by pinch runner Derek Fisher. On the next pitch, Bregman hit a walk off single, scoring Fisher with the winning run. The Astros became only the second team to come back twice from three runs down in a World Series game, the other was the Toronto Blue Jays in the 15–14 win during Game 4 of the 1993 World Series. The six-game tying home runs in the series to this point is the most for any World Series on record. This World Series set a new record for most players to hit a home run 14 to date in the World Series. 
With the teams combining to score 25 runs throughout the game, this was the highest scoring World Series game since the Florida Marlins defeated the Cleveland Indians 14–11 in Game 3 of the 1997 World Series. Game 5 lasted 5 hours and 17 minutes, making it the second longest World Series game in history by time. Game 6 Game 6 featured the same starting pitchers as the second game, Verlander and Hill. Springer hit a home run off of Hill in the top of the third for the first run of the night. It was Springer's fourth homer of the series, tied for third all-time in a single series and joining Gene Tennis, in 1972, as the only players with four game-tying or go-ahead home runs in a World Series. Springer also joined Hank Bauer in the 1958 World Series and Barry Bonds in the 2002 World Series with four home runs in a series. The Astros loaded the bases in the fifth inning, but did not score. Hill pitched four and two thirds innings, struck out five and allowed four hits and one run. In the sixth inning, Taylor tied the game with an RBI double and Seeger hit a sacrifice fly to give the Dodgers the lead. Verlander pitched six innings with nine strikeouts and only three hits allowed. Peterson hit a home run in the bottom of the seventh inning and Jansen pitched two scoreless innings for the save. Peterson tied a World Series record with his fifth consecutive game with an extra base hit. Andre Ethier, who appeared in the game as a pinch hitter, set a new Dodgers franchise record with his 50th career postseason game. Game 7 This was the first World Series Game 7 to be played at Dodger Stadium and the first postseason Game 7 of any postseason series at the stadium since the 1988 NLCS, and the Dodgers' first World Series Game 7 since 1965 against the Minnesota Twins. It was also the first time since the 1931 World Series that a Game 7 occurred in a series with both teams having won at least 100 games during the season. Besides, this was the first time since the 2001 World Series and 2002 World Series that back to back fall classics had a Game 7. The starting pitches for this game were the same as in the third game McCullers and Darvish. Springer doubled to open the game and scored the first run on an error by Bellinger, which allowed Bregman to reach second base. Bregman stole third base and scored on an all groundout. ground out. McCann scored the next inning on a ground out hit by the pitcher McCullers. Springer hit a two run home run, his fifth of the series, tying Reggie Jackson and Chase Utley for most home runs in a single World Series and setting a new record with 29 total bases in any postseason series. As in Game 3, Darvish lasted only one and two thirds innings, tying the shortest outing of his career, and became the third pitcher with two starts of less than two innings in a World Series, and the first since Art Dittmer in the 1960 World Series. Morrow relieved Darvish and in the process became only the second pitcher to pitch in all seven games of a single World Series, joining Darryl Knowles in the 1973 World Series. McCullers lasted only two one-third innings himself, he allowed three hits and hit a World Series record four batters. This was the first Game 7 in World Series history where neither starting pitcher got past the third inning. The Dodgers failed to score a run and left eight men on base through five innings. Andre Ethier hit a pinch hit RBI single that scored Peterson in the sixth inning for the Dodgers' only run. They only had one hit in 13 chances with runners in scoring position in the game. Kershaw pitched four scoreless innings of relief in the game, and in the process, he broke Oral Hershiser's Dodgers postseason record with his 33rd strikeout. Morton pitched four innings of relief to earn the win, as Corey Seager grounded out to Jose Altuve, who threw to Yuli Gurriel to end the game, with the Astros winning their first championship in franchise history, and ending their 56-year drought. Springer won the World Series MVP award.
With the Astros win, for the first time since 2002, when the Angels beat the Giants in seven games, a franchise won its first World Series title. After Game 7, the trophy presentation, usually taking place in the locker room whenever the visiting team clinches the series, took place on the losing team's field for the first time ever before a small crowd of mostly Astros fans that remained as most Dodgers fans left the stadium. Correa proposed to his girlfriend, 2016 Miss Texas USA winner Daniela Rodriguez, on live television during a post-game interview conducted by Rosenthal. She accepted. Topic: Composite line score. 2017 World Series 4 to 3, Houston Astros defeated Los Angeles Dodgers. Topic: Broadcasting. Topic: Television. Fox broadcast the series in the United States, with Joe Buck serving as the play-by-play -play announcer, along with John Smoltz as color commentator and Ken Rosenthal and Tom Verducci as field reporters. For Fox Deportes, Rolando Nichols provided play-by-play -play while Carlos Alvarez and Edgar Gonzalez provided color commentary, Kevin Burkhart hosted the pregame shows, joined by analysts Keith Hernandez, David Ortiz, Alex Rodriguez, and Frank Thomas. Outside the United States, MLB International televised the series, with Matt Vasgersian on play-by-play -play and Buck Martinez doing color commentary. Topic. Ratings According to Nielsen Ratings, this series was the third highest rated since 2005, trailing only the 2009 World Series and the 2016 World Series. For the second straight year, a World Series game, Game 5, beat out NBC Sunday Night Football in ratings. Topic. Radio ESPN Radio broadcast the series nationally in English, with Dan Schulman providing the play-by-play -play and Aaron Boone serving as color analyst. Tim Kirkkian and Buster Oney served as reporters for the network, while Mark Kestecker hosted the pre-game and post-game coverage along with analyst Chris Singleton. The ESPN radio coverage was carried on affiliated stations throughout the United States and Canada, as well as online at ESPN.com and via the ESPN mobile app. Spanish language coverage was provided by ESPN Deportes Radio, with Eduardo Ortega, Renato Bermudez, Jose Francisco Rivera, and Orlando Hernandez announcing. Locally, both teams' flagship radio stations broadcast the series with their regular announcers. Sports Talk 790 aired the English language broadcast for the Houston area, with Robert Ford and Steve Sparks calling the games. In Los Angeles, AM 570 LA Sports aired the English language broadcast, with Charlie Steiner and Rick Monday announcing. In Spanish, Univision America 1020 carried the broadcast, with Jamie Jaron and Jorge Jaron on the call. In Korean, Radio Korea 1540 aired the series, with Richard Choi and Chong Ho Yim in the booth. Topic. Sponsorship For the first time, MLB sold presenting sponsorships to all of its postseason series. The Internet television service YouTube TV is the first ever presenting sponsor of the World Series. The series is officially known as the 2017 World Series presented by YouTube TV. This sponsorship includes logo branding in stadium and on official digital properties, as well as commercial inventory during Fox's telecasts of the games. Impact and aftermath 
This was Houston's first sports championship since the Houston Dynamo won the MLS Cup in 2007. The Astros earned $30,420,155.57 from postseason pool money to split among team personnel, each share was worth $438,901.57. The Dodgers received $20,280,103.72, with shares of $259,722.14. The sports books in Nevada lost $11.4 million in November 2017, a record for baseball related betting. The city of Houston held a parade for the Astros on November 3, 2017, which Mayor Sylvester Turner proclaimed was Houston Astros Day. An estimated 750,000 to 1 million attended the parade. Springer and Altuve appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated's November 13, 2017, issue, with Altuve holding the Commissioner's Trophy and Springer holding a copy of a Sports Illustrated from 2014 that predicted the Astros would win the 2017 World Series. The Dodgers would make another World Series appearance the following year in 2018, but lost to the Boston Red Sox in five games, marking the first time the Dodgers lost back to back World Series since 19. 1977 and 1978, where they lost both World Series to the New York Yankees. See also 2017 Korean Series 2017 Japan Series Notes <laughs>